I want to use this video to talk about the host nation, Russia, uh, and figuring out their best possible path to the semifinals. Now, I know a lot of people think they're going to crash out in the group stages. A lot of people think that they'll get to the round of 16 and that's it. Quarters max. I looked at different permutations, different um, experimental brackets for the World Cup. Um, and I actually think Russia's best case scenario is a semifinal if everything lines up perfectly for them, pretty much, and all the other opponents on their side of the bracket collapse. <laughs> um, it's feasible. It's viable. It's possible. And this is how it would happen, in my opinion. So, how on earth could Russia, the host nation, do what South Korea did in 2002 and get to the semifinal? Well, some of you might say refereeing decisions going their way, some dubious iffy calls going in their favor, which could happen. Uh, I'm almost certain it'll happen in some way, at least in one match. Um, but what would the bracket have to be look, look like for them to sort of have a path to getting into the last four. And I think it would go like somewhat like this. You have to consider they're on the top side of the bracket in Group A as the host nation. So from A through D, when you are in a World Cup, because of the way the bracket is set up, you don't play anybody in the second half of the bracket, basically meaning from groups E through H and vice versa. E through H doesn't play teams from A through D until the semifinals. From the group stages all the way to the quarterfinal, you're always playing someone on your side of the bracket. Um, so how could Russia end up being one of the two teams between groups A and D getting to the semifinals? Because there's two teams on the top half to get to the semis, and there's two teams on the bottom half. To get to the semis. That's a very important observation uh, for anything when it comes to predicting World Cups. Now, for Group A, the best possible path I can see for Russia getting to the semis would be something like this. Uh, they win Group A, uh, which is doable. It's doable. I mean, Russia's not a terrible team. Um, they were kind of crap at the Euro 2016 tournament, but I do think they improved. I do think the Confederations Cup, they showed a little bit more promise, and I think in recent friendlies, uh, they've been subjecting themselves to playing against some of the best teams in the world. That's going to help them a lot entering the tournament. So let's say they win Group A, which is possible. It's, it's a very winnable group. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Uruguay. Uruguay, very strong team. They're the best team in this group, but Uruguay, you know, is it going to be the 2010-2014 World Cup team that shows up? Or is it going to be the Copa America Centenario 2016 team that crashed in the group stage? Uruguay, on their best day, is a team that can beat anyone in the world and be a contender to win the World Cup, in my opinion. And on their worst day, they could crash out in the group stages. I, f I fully believe that about Uruguay. This is a team that has finished second in South American World Cup qualifying after always finishing in fifth and going to the playoffs in previous World Cup qualifying uh, phases, cycles. So Russia winning the group, and doesn't matter who comes in second. Doesn't matter. Uruguay, Egypt, for the sake of argument, I'm going to say maybe Uruguay. I don't know. And then from Group B, uh, Russia's best bet would be for one of Morocco or Iran to upset one of Spain or Portugal to finish in the runners-up position uh, of Group B. Um, because Russia, if they get through, they're most likely going to play either Spain or Portugal, in which they would be considered underdogs in. So let's say we have a surprise in Group B. Let's say um, Iran surprises uh, Portugal. Let's say Spain wins that group and Iran comes in second. I have it on my phone here. So, they would play Iran in the round of 16. 
And if they play Iran in the round of 16, I think that's a winnable game for Russia. I mean, it's a tough, it's a, it would be a tough game because Iran is very well coached, really good defense. And you have to think that if, if one of Iran or, or Morocco gets through Group B, that means they're a dangerous threat and they can absolutely beat the winner of Group A and get to the quarterfinals. But let's just say for sake of argument, right? Russia plays either Iran or Morocco in the round of 16. Totally possible. Totally possible. And they win that, they're in the quarterfinals, right? So how do they get to the semis from here? How do they get to the semis? Well, this is a little bit tricky because then you have to scroll over to Group C. Again, I'm on my phone. And you have France, Australia, Peru, and Denmark. Um, I think Group C with France, Group D with Argentina, either one or both of them will have to fail to advance past the group stages. Or one of them will pass and then lose to the runner-up of the group next to them. So let's say, for example, France wins group C, and, I don't know, Peru comes in second. And then from group D, you have um, Croatia and Nigeria go through, right? And then... In this scenario, you'd have France against Nigeria in the round of 16. And let's say Nigeria upsets France, which is possible, I think, because they played France in the round of 16 in the last World Cup, put on a pretty good performance against the French. So let's say if Nigeria upsets France, and again, it doesn't have to be Nigeria. It can be any runner-up from Group D, Argentina's group, as long as that team is not Argentina. Let's say it's Croatia. Iceland, or Nigeria, and they beat the first place team in Group C, France. There you go. There you have it. You get Russia versus Nigeria in the quarterfinals, or Russia versus Iceland, or Russia versus Croatia, and also vice versa for Group D. Let's say that um, France is the team that does not advance from Group C. Let's say it's Peru and Australia or something. I don't know. Peru and Australia. Right, then you get Argentina advancing in Group D because they're the team that goes through, and Iceland comes in second, or it doesn't matter who comes in second. Right, you get Russia against one of Peru or Nigeria, or Peru or Iceland, or Peru and France. So you get what I'm saying. The best bet here for Russia to there is a path. It is totally possible would be to hope that either Iran or Morocco upsets Spain or Portugal in Group B. One of them takes that second spot. Russia wins Group A, possible. Beats the runner-up of Group B, which will be either Iran or Morocco in this case. And then you have, between Groups C and D, between France and Argentina's group, you have one of France or Argentina, one of them, not advancing, while the other team who does advance uh, loses to the runner-up of C or D. There's a path here. It's possible. It is po And it's not even, I would not even call it extremely unlikely. I'd say it's unlikely. It's unlikely. But it's not necessarily crazy. There's a path here for Russia to the semifinals. There is a path, and it avoids <laughs> it avoids having to play any of the seeded teams. Um, with Uruguay in their group arguably being their toughest opponent en route to the semifinals. But it's possible. It is possible. I don't think it will happen. I think Russia's maximum finish will be the quarters. Max. Um, but we, they could get to the semis if all the roll of the dice and everything falls in their favor. There's a, there's a door open. So leave a comment below, like, subscribe. What do you think? Uh, I'll see you guys, hopefully God willing, later tomorrow. Until then, have a good one. Much love. Peace out.